G'day guys, Ian from Cookies Critters, and today we're doing part two of our blocked femoral pause video. Now guys, if you haven't already seen part one, we will put the link down in the description below. And later on through this video, we will put a, uh, a little card up above for you to uh, easily access it. Now guys, if you are new to the channel and you haven't already done so, please do subscribe and turn on those post notifications. That way you won't miss a coming video. And uh, little Christian and myself, we will see you on the other side of this short intro. So guys, like I mentioned in the introduction, today we are talking about femoral pause and little, uh, little Christian here is going to be the model for this demonstration. We will be doing a, uh, a manual extraction, so squeezing blocked femoral pause today. Guys, if you are squeamish and you do not like this kind of content, we do recommend that you do click on the link up above. It will take you across to one of our other care videos, but if you do wanna see how it's done, Please do watch this through the end and uh, Christian and I are gonna get started. So guys, now since that viewer disclaimer is over and done with, we are gonna roll into the procedural part of this. Uh, we do like to always refer back to step one of the uh, previous video on femoral pause and that is always to bathe the little bearded dragon for about 25 to 30 minutes. And what this is gonna do is it's going to soften those little plugs, those little waxy plugs, and it's gonna make them a lot easier when you do give them a gentle squeeze that they are just going to glide out and pop quite nicely. If you just grab your dragon out of the enclosure and while the, uh, the waxy plug is dry and hard, if you give it a squeeze, your dragon is gonna be stressed out, in discomfort and potentially in some pain and we don't wanna do that. We can easily mitigate that by giving the little guy a bath. So guys, we're gonna uh, roll into that right now. Okay guys, so we've got little Christian in here. He's gonna soak in here for the next 25 to 30 minutes. Now just remember guys, this is a lukewarm bath. Uh, we do want to maintain the bath temperature and we do want to maintain the bath depth so that way it is a comfortable level and a comfortable temperature for the bearded dragons to be uh, bathing in. Now after the 25 minutes, we will get stuck into the actual squeezing of the femoral pores. A few moments later. Okay guys, so as we can see here, there are a few femoral pores here that the uh, the waxy plug is starting to, uh, to come out and be quite proud. Now, simply what we can do is we can give those, and there you go, one just being rubbed, came out. Right. But what we can do is just give it a gentle squeeze. We wanna make sure that we're either side of the uh, the actual pour itself, give it a squeeze, and out it comes. Now, as you can see, the uh, the dragon is going to wiggle around, and what we can see is we can see the actual plug itself has come out, and there it is just there. What we will do is we'll continue to go through, and we will extract the, uh, the rest of these, and then we will focus on any of the ones that are uh, a little bit more problematic. So just nice and gently, give it a squeeze. We just want to tease it out. We don't want to be forceful. We don't want to stress out the dragon. And there it is. There it is there. Now what that leaves us with is two freshly evacuated pores. Right, nice and fresh. There's no hard mass. And now we will continue across the uh, cloacal vent and have a look at these two here. Here we come. Nice gentle squeeze. And out it comes. Here we go. Now 
Now in a situation like this one here, if you find that uh, a gentle squeeze isn't making the femoral plug come out, leave it, soak it, come back to it a bit later, okay? Here we go, that one's coming out. Okay, so as we look across his leg, got one, two, two extracted there. These two here are still slightly hard, slightly impacted across the cloacal vent. These are nice and fresh. We're going to move across to the other leg. Oops, yep, calm down, man. So, guys, if your dragon stresses out, just have him, uh, let him have a little breather and then we'll get back into it again. Yeah, I know, I know. As we can see, this one was quite a, uh, quite a large, oops, dropped it. So this one here, we're gonna leave it, we're gonna soak it, and we're gonna come back to that one. So guys, we just put Christian back in the bath. I'm gonna let him have a little bit of a soak for a little bit longer and uh, hopefully soften up those pores that need to come out still. And we'll come back to him in a few minutes. Okay guys, so while Christian's having a bath, I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you the uh, the extracted femoral plugs. Now, as we can see here, there are varied lengths in the, uh, in the two. The one on the left being a little bit shorter and the one on the right being a little bit longer. But what we can notice the difference between the two is the one on the right has a, uh, a dark tip at the, uh, at the very top. I'm just gonna grab those tweezers and I'll point to where I'm talking about. Now what we are talking about is we're talking about this point of the uh, the waxy plug just here, how it's quite dark. So that indicates that that femoral wax, that that, uh, that secretion is, uh, is quite old, whereas the clear secretion over here means that it is still quite fresh. Now guys, I think, uh, I think Christian's ready to try again and uh, we'll hopefully get those last ones out. So this one here, okay, that one's come out. That one's come out by itself. Now, if we move across to this one here. Okay, here we go. Okay, and we're out. So that's that blockage removed. We'll have a look at the pore next to it. Okay, and here it comes. And so that one there was uh, quite a long one, but still very soft. Now just checking over his other little femoral paws here.
Oh, here we go. And this is that really fresh, white, waxy secretion. In the wild, this is what they would be smearing all over the, uh, the branches and the rocks to let females know that they're in the area. Okay guys, so as we can see, the uh, the femoral pores are now extracted and there's a couple on this leg here that are uh, a little bit red and inflamed. Now, this is to be expected when you do forcefully extract and you do squeeze the femoral pores. Now guys, this is the reason why I always like my conservative approach with bathing and brushing to, uh, to soften it and to let the dragon extract it by itself. Now, if this paw was actually bleeding, not just red and inflamed, things like corn flour or cornstarch will actually stem that bleeding nicely. Now, in this situation, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna put some betadine on this area just to prevent any uh, uh, source of infection. And we're gonna get little uh, Christian here back into his enclosure so that way he can relax. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please feel free to leave some feedback in the comments below. Now, the, uh, the key things to take away from this is bathing is key. It's gonna soften those pores. We wanna be gentle with our bearded dragon, and if there's any sign of bleeding, cornstarch or corn flour will stop it. As a, as a general rule of thumb, any kind of open wounds can be treated with a low strength iodine or betadine solution. Now, as you can see, little Christian here is a bit of a grumpy mood after uh, me having to like get in there and be invasive. And so we're gonna pop him back in his enclosure. We're gonna let him have a bit of a relax. And then later on throughout the day, we're gonna give him some pinky rats as a bit of a treat for being a, uh, a good boy. Now guys, uh, if you haven't already done so, please do hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications. That way you won't miss a coming video. And until next time guys, if you've got them, keep your beard treated and your beard is heated.